Welcome to our YouTube channel, Diani here. In this video, we will guide you through the process of embedding a Power BI dashboard in a Dynamics 365 dashboard using the Power Query Builder plugin in XRM Toolbox. This integration allows you to leverage the power of the Power BI visuals within your Dynamics 365 environment. So let's get started. Microsoft Power BI is an interactive data visualization software product developed by Microsoft with a primary focus on business intelligence. It is part of the Microsoft Power Platform, meaning that we can integrate dashboards and reports effortlessly. However, sometimes it can be time-consuming to develop against Dynamics 365. Luckily, there is an easier and faster way to develop reports and dashboards with Dynamics 365. That's what we are going to show you in today's video. So hang tight and follow along for today's exciting video on how to create a Power BI report that queries Dynamics 365 using the XRM Toolbox plugin called Power Query Builder. Power Query Builder is designed to automate the basic Power Queries for getting data into Power BI from D365. This includes selecting fields, renaming fields, querying option sets, and more. This tool is a great way to quickly help build Dynamics 365 reports in Power BI. It generates M queries with and without fetch XML, as well as handle fields such as option sets. To install it, open XRM Toolbox and find the Power Query M Builder plugin. Click on Install. Let's start by creating a solution in Power Platform. Then add the case entity in the newly created solution. Add a new case view. And this is the view that we are going to use later for developing the Power BI dashboard. Now let's demonstrate on how to build a report using the Power Query Builder plugin in XRM Toolbox. Open the Power Query Builder plugin in XRM Toolbox. You will see the following tabs. Click on Load Entities. This will display a list of entities. Select case. This will display the case fields and the views. Next, let's add some fields to our query from the select table and columns tab. Select the fields on the left and click on the arrow button to add them to the query. These fields should be from the view we created earlier. Now let's generate the fetch XML for this query. Click on update fetch XML you'll see a list of the fetch XML fields. Note that the incident ID field is added automatically. Let's also select add record URL. This will provide a link to the record back in Dynamics 365. Click on generate fetch XML. This will generate the fetch XML for our query. Finally, we will need to generate the service URLs for Power BI. This will be the base URLs that our queries will use. Click on Generate Service URL to generate two URLs. Once we are done generating the Power Query using the Power Query Builder, let's open Power BI Desktop and create a new report. Start by creating a blank query and name it Dime365CE Base URL. This will hold the URL of the Dynamics 365 environment. Create a second blank query and name it service root URL. We will use this query to concatenate the Dyn365 CE base URL query variable with the API part. Now it's time to create the last query. You can name it anything, but for this demo, we will call it cases. Once created, click on the Advanced Editor button on the ribbon. This will open a window dialog where we are going to paste the Power Query script we generated earlier using the Power Query Builder tool. Paste the script and make sure there are no syntax errors. If everything looks good, click on Done. This will prompt you 
for credentials and then retrieve the data as per the query you pasted. Once you see that the data preview is done and it shows you preview data for your query, click on close and apply in the ribbon. We are done getting the data set from Dynamics 365. Now we can proceed to build visuals for our report. Continue building the report with visuals as required. When you are satisfied with your report, it's time to publish it to the Power BI services. Click on publish on your ribbon. Choose your workspace to publish to. And continue with the publishing process. Now let's go back to Power Platform and open our solution. Click on New, then Dashboard and select the Power BI Embedded option. In the side dialog that pops up, type in the name for your dashboard. Next, select either Power BI Report or Power BI Dashboard depending on your requirements. And check Show Reports in this environment only. This will give you the ability to choose from Power BI workspaces. Under Workspaces drop-down, choose the correct workspace where you save the report or dashboard. This will make the report and dashboards in that workspace available for selection. Choose your report and click on Save. Now we have added the Power BI report to our dashboard. Let's go and test it in Dynamics 365. If it happens that you do not see the Power BI report in your list of dashboards in D365, make sure it is added to the model-driven app you are accessing. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials and don't forget to leave a comment down below to give us feedback on how we can improve on giving you this cool content.